Good evening and welcome to RFL. I'm Andrew Whitman. Richard French joins us again in just a few moments. Thanks again for joining us on this Monday evening, the 7th of May at 6 p.m. and a busy Monday it is. Much more on the political and economic questions in Europe and what it could mean here. Plus the return of the culture wars again as the Jobs, Jobs, Jobs Party once again takes aim at same-sex marriage. But first, if you love to follow politics, and odds are if you're a regular RFL viewer, you love politics as much as we do, we've got something special for you tonight. It's a primary debate in the new New Jersey 9th Congressional District, and this ain't your typical debate. In most primary fights, you either have a group of candidates looking to replace an outgoing incumbent, or you have an upstart candidate or two looking to unseat a current incumbent, but that is not the case tonight. Instead, tonight features two longtime, long-serving members of Congress, two Democrats debating one another, and only one will return to Washington. Congressman Steve Rothman, currently representing New Jersey's 8th District, going up against Congressman Bill Pascrell, currently representing New Jersey's 9th District. Both have been in Congress exactly the same time, arriving there on January 3rd, 1997, but only one will continue to serve the voters of New Jersey. The reason for tonight's showdown? Redistricting. New Jersey lost a congressional seat following the 2010 caucus or census, so Rothman's 8th district and Pascrell's 9th are being mashed into the state's new 9th district on the right-hand side of your screen, and that district only needs one representative in Congress. The impact of tonight's debate will go far beyond North Jersey. It will be closely watched across the country by Democrats wondering which veteran lawmaker will go back to D.C., by Republicans eager to watch two Democrats attack one another, and for anyone else who loves to see politics and see how two congressmen with relatively similar records try to distinguish themselves with their political lives at stake. We have team coverage tonight, and we begin that coverage with Fios One's Kimberly Wallace. She sat down with Congressman Rothman to preview this race and tonight's debate. The voters are going to have to make a choice. It's been a tumultuous few months for New Jersey Congressman Steve Rothman. Things got ugly when redistricting meant he was going up against his friend, fellow Democratic Congressman Bill Pascrell. The relationship has sort of taken a, a moment off because uh, we both uh, wish to represent what we each consider to be our home district. Rothman is lacing up his gloves to defend what he says is his home district. He voted to uh, allow oil drilling 50 miles off the coast of New Jersey. I voted no. And he's voted 18 times to restrict a woman's right to choose. Well, the 59-year-old got his political start when he was elected as the mayor of Englewood at the age of 30. He was then elected to Congress in 1996, the same year as Pascrell. On which of the two candidates is the progressive candidate? That would be me in terms of our voting record, clearly. If the election is held on who brings home the money from Washington for local projects and jobs and saves local property taxpayers money, again, that would be me based on my record. At the time of the redistricting, Rothman lived in Fairlawn, but he moved back to Englewood in March because he says he wants to represent his home district and be back in the town where he was born and raised. Rothman for Congress. Looking ahead, Rothman says he's working seven days a week in preparation for the primaries on June 5th, which will determine if it's his name or Pasquale's name on the November ballot. Hopefully, uh, after the election, we can restore our friendship. But uh, there's no question it's, it's a tough contest. In Woodridge, Kimberly Wallace, Fios One News. As for Congressman Rothman's opponent, Congressman Bill Pascrell was recently endorsed by Bill Clinton. For the rest of the Pascrell file, file we turn to Fios One's Christy Duffy. I've never forgotten my roots. They define me as a person. That's who I am. Congressman Bill Pascrell has lived in Patterson his whole life. Born in the Silk City, the birthplace of the Industrial Revolution, he says his career has been about helping his community, specifically the middle class and the working poor. He first brought his tough-talking, plain-speaking style to Washington in 1997. And when I got to Washington, I brought a little bit of that Passaic County attitude and have never, ever let go, and I never will. But now, just two years after what some have called the most successful campaign victory of his career, the congressman has been thrown a curveball. I want people to meet me. I'm not entitled to this position that I seek. And I intend to win this district by going to every town and try to get to as many Democratic and undeclared voters as is possible. 
And that's what he was doing on Thursday at a Hasbro Heights factory, meeting people and pushing for overseas outsourced manufacturing jobs to be brought back here to the U.S. and to New Jersey. I'm from a manufacturing city. I know what it means to the economy. I think it's critical that we reestablish manufacturing in this country as a major segment of our economy. Pascrell, a self-described fighter, says he doesn't back off, whether it's fighting for jobs down in D.C. or campaigning back home here in New Jersey. Pascrell is currently facing a race where the numbers are stacked against him, but it's nowhere near over. With 200 signatures required to get on the primary race ballot, Pascrell and his staff announced in early April they got over 10,000. The Pascrell team delivered so many of these voter registration forms to the Passaic County Office of Elections during the month of March that they actually backlogged them. And they also outpaced the same time period four years ago when then Senator Obama was running for the White House and drew an unprecedented amount of voter registration. The greatest thing in this campaign is meeting people from parts of the area that I've never lived. The question is, who do you want with you when things get toughest? And the voters will make a decision about that. In Patterson, Christy Duffy, Fios One News. The debate between Congressman Rothman and Pascrell gets underway in a little less than an hour on Fios One News, New Jersey. And for more on their matchup, let's check in with our own Richard French. He will be moderating the rothman pascrell debate tonight on Fios One. Rich said it before, I'll say it again. This is not your typical primary debate, is it? No, it's not, Andrew. And what's interesting is we've seen this played out as redistricting. has kind of shook up the map coast to coast. We talked about an L.A. congressional race where you saw two longtime uh, friends turn into rivals. Well, it's happening in the Garden State, and we're seeing it here. Both these gentlemen both going to Washington in 87 and now find themselves fighting for one seat here, and it's made for a, an interesting backstory in a very interesting election year. Rich, how much separation is there on policy and on positions between these two incumbent congressmen? There's not a lot of daylight, Andrew, and uh, we've seen some interesting endorsements um, in, the, in the past few weeks, but really the separation between the two uh, isn't that significant. So how they'll play out in the national landscape, uh, the, the word compromise has become, as we know, uh, every night we talk about uh, almost an anomaly when it comes to Washington, but how much one is willing to go across the aisle or to work with the other side of the aisle to get legislation done. It's interesting. It's a different conversation, as we know, in a primary and in a general, but that, I'm sure, will come up over the course of the hour. This new 9th district that they're fighting over tonight, more of that district was uh, Congressman Pascrell's old district. How much of that do you think is going to be a factor? Do you think you're, you're going to hear a lot of comments about very specific to the district projects and grants and, and money that they were able to bring back from Washington? I think you'll hear that, Andrew. I think you're going to get into quite a bit of geography, who knows the area more, who's been there longest, different rationales for running where. All of that, uh, not just inside politics, but also retail politics, I'm sure will come up. But in addition to that, Andrew, it's the idea of who is going to best serve the community. And I've heard competing arguments from a strategy standpoint as to who has the advantages given the new makeup of the district. So it, we're going to see how this plays out. But I'll tell you, for one, I'm, I'm interested to see what we'll see for the next 60 minutes. Yeah, and if you like politics like you and I both do, Rich, this should be absolutely a fascinating uh, debate coming up at the top of the hour. Richard French, we'll see you at 7 o'clock. Thanks very much. As Rich again moderates tonight's Fios One New Jersey debate between two incumbent Democratic congressmen, Steve Rothman and Bill Pascrell. It all gets started at 7 p.m. right after RFL on Fios One News New Jersey. We're going to take a quick break here on RFL. We're back right after this.